Hey there, Skywatchers. Doppler Tammy Meteorologist Jeff Booth here. A lot going on in the sky this week. And if you notice the sunrise is a little earlier, well, you're not imagining things. The earliest sunrises of the year tend to happen near the solstice. Now, the solstice next week, that's when we have our longest days, but we get our earlier sunrises because of uh, a little quirk, if you will. The length of a day as measured from one solar noon to the next solar noon, this time of year is just a little bit more than 24 hours. So as a result, we have our sunrises a little earlier, about a week before the solstice. And actually Sunday and Monday, the sunrise will be at 6 a.m. and 32 seconds marking the earliest sunrises of the year. And we got something happening with the full moon on Tuesday at 7.52 a.m. It's going to be here. That is the full strawberry moon, and that's because, well, that delicious fruit is ripening up this time of year, also called the full hot moon. And because this month's full moon coincides with something known as the perigee, well, uh, that's when the moon is at its closest point to the Earth in its orbit. We call it a super moon, so it, it can look at times up to 14% bigger and be up to 30% brighter. This is one of four super moons this year, and if you really want to see the effect, you got to see the moon near the horizon. When you see it up high in the sky, you don't really see much of that super moon effect, but if you see it near the horizon, it may look a little bigger and a little brighter out there thanks to the super moon. And if you do see it, give it a wink in honor of the late great Neil Armstrong. And speaking of the moon, well, on Saturday morning you can help it use it rather to help you find Saturn. It'll be uh, just below and right of Saturn. And you know what? Along the horizon from the east northeast to the south before sunrise, you'll have Jupiter, Mars, Venus. And if you have a clear view of the horizon, Mercury will be there as well. So a lot going on in the nice sky this week. When we get a little clearing, get out there and enjoy it. I'm Doppler 10 meteorologist Jeff Booth. Happy hunting.